this is good. Well, it's going to be interesting. I'll say that. Well, the reason I asked about the lowbrow humor is because I don't know what the context is on this. I try to find the context. I couldn't find any context, but I just thought personally, as people that, as public speakers that you, that you and I are, great, great public speakers that you and I are, <laughs> I, want, I wanted to give an example of, of what a public speaker, a known public speaker, shouldn't be doing. And, you know, it is, it is, um, it is, you know, it is not, uh, it is a, it is, you know, it is reckless. It is playing a reckless game with our economic, with our economy. And, and that's the great, great press secretary, Ms. Karina John Pierre, which gives me hope as far as a podcast, because if people make fun of us of the way we, we, we talk, spoke, learned it, uh, it gives me hope because... The, the, the person is supposed to be known more than anybody as far as a public speaker does stuff like that. I feel like we spend a lot of time like hearing some of our uh, segments or press conferences. And it seems like, and, and I don't know, I guess it would be good to do more of it, but I feel like we kind of do enough to kind of get an idea. But I kind of seem to think that anytime that she's struggling to sell, to spin something that she's not necessarily something, something that she believes in this is what she does a lie you mean you mean she she is not a liar is that what you mean i think she has a difficult time doing that i don't know if you want to call that a lie i mean sure i guess it's one way of looking at it but just making something sound good that maybe isn't good something that's bad or maybe it's just something that she just doesn't have faith in and it's hard for her to to sell it when she doesn't even believe it that makes sense 